Hey guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today we'll be making a buttermilk bacon biscuit. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to go over what I have so far. Right here I have my bacon. This is about five strips of bacon and three stalks of scallions chopped up. And over here I have my flour, salt, and bacon powder. The rest of the ingredients are in the freezer because you want everything else that's liquid to be freezing cold so and the grater is here because I'm actually going to grate my butter versus using my food processor to break up the butter or doing it the old fashioned way I don't have time for that today so we're just going to grate it really quick and mix it all together so this is my butter grated doesn't it look like cheese <laughs> this is what happens when you freeze your butter and then grate it this is exactly what you want I am however going to pop it right back in the, free in the freezer until I get all my other ingredients together all right, so your hands are going to get messy. This is my flour here, and I'm just going to add my butter down in here. Even though I did grate a lot, you still need to measure it. And remember, all measurement ingredients will be in my description box. And you're just going to combine this gently with your hands. So you could probably just use a spatula, especially since the butter is already um, grated. So you really don't have to do much at all at this point. Just combine it a bit. Now that the butter is combined, you're going to add your, your really, really cold buttermilk down in here. And you're going to gently toss again until all the buttermilk, it would help to remove the spatula, right? <laughs> until all the buttermilk has been absorbed by your flour mixture. And then the end is when we're going to toss in the bacon and the scallions. Alright guys, so at this stage is when you want to see how it is, it's starting to come together, but you don't want it to come all the way together until you add your bacon and your scallions down in there. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. Make sure you check it before you comment. And I'm going to fold everything together into a log, and then we're going to put it right back in the refrigerator so it could tighten back up, and then we're going to form it. I don't have a cookie cutter when I moved, I lost a lot of... Of my things so I'm gonna be using a glass if you have a cookie cutter or a molder be sure to use it but I can't find mine so I'm gonna use a glass and this is what it looks like my dough is pretty cold it's still nice and cold but I'm gonna let it chill in the refrigerator preferably the freezer as the oven preheats which you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 degrees okay guys so this is my dough all i did was flatten it out with my hands i didn't even use a rolling pin you can use a rolling pin if you prefer or if you have it on hand i'm just going to take my glass like i said i don't have my some of my utensils from when i moved so you're just going to push down and make a circle push down one more time let me make sure i'm lined up correctly you can see the big chunks of bacon and scallion all in between each nook and cranny. You're basically looking for something like this. And you're going to pop it into your oven and bake them off until they're nice and golden. I'm also going to brush them with some egg wash. In this bowl right here, I have one egg and two tablespoons of water. And you're just going to beat it up really, really well with your fork. Alright, so you're going to take your egg wash and you're just going to brush... This is going to help with making ensuring that your biscuit gets nice and evenly golden brown. Not too much, of course. You don't want egg on top of your <laughs> biscuit. Just a light, super, super light coating. You probably don't even have to go back for a double dip. Super light coating all over your biscuit. Just like that. And I'll show you guys what they look like once they're out the oven. Alright guys, so these are what they look like. How gorgeous and perfect are these biscuits? Like, look at that. <laughs> how perfect are these? You see how like it's perfectly golden brown because we added that egg wash. And they're not overcooked. They're super, super crisp on the outside, moist on the inside. Now you're just going to take some melted butter and go over the tops of your biscuits. This step is surely optional. I'm sure you guys know that. Just for that extra shine. And of course for my pictures. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to plate it up 
which I'm just going to put it on a plate and let you guys see what it looks like. Alright guys, so these are what they look like. All I did was pile them on top of each other on a plate. Um, I'm going to see if I could open one up with just my, you can see the bottom is perfectly brown too. You're just going to, let me see. Okay, there we go. Look how, per like seriously, look how perfect the inside of this biscuit is. Like seriously. But if you guys give this recipe a try, tag me and let me know what you think. It's super, super easy. It's really, really, really easy. And all the ingredients will be in my description box. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye, guys.